What's up YouTube? This was a little cup battle against Lady Crimson for my 69th Pokemon battle. Yep, so 69's an awesome number, so we thought we'd do something pretty cool for it. So this was a really extremely close battle without giving it away, and I hope you do enjoy seeing some of the, uh, well, lesser used Pokemon in action. Okay, so I'm leading off with my Chinchou, and she's leading off with the Nidoran. Uh, she protects off, and I go for a Volt Switch, because I am Scarfed. So, when you see Volt Switch, it normally means you're Scarfed anyway, so yeah, dip. Um, so she takes that, she sets up the Toxic Spikes there. Um, I'm just going to go in for a Thunderbolt and try and finish this thing off, which I do, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, Garcy's a really, really badass in uh, Little Cup, so... Yep, so I go into my uh, raccoon now to absorb those toxic spikes. Lucky I brought him along. Um, he was a little bit of a sacrifice, but I knew they couldn't be set up again, so at least I got rid of them. So the aftermath, um, and I knew the aftermath and recoil would still do a lot of damage to um, uh, her demi devil. So um, I bring out my apom and I go for the fake out, but obviously she's going to switch into this thing. Uh, this thing was really, really annoying to kill, and as soon as I saw it, I knew it would have Everlight because. We basically agreed on one Everlight on both our teams, otherwise it's just too OP. So, um, Curse comes out there, so I'm not too worried about that because, at the moment, because I know it can't do much to my Ghastly, so I'm just going to U-turn out there, and it does, yeah, alright damage, so, yep, so I go into my Ghastly again, I'm expecting, like, Earthquake or something, but Frustration comes out, but, <laughs> but that's all cool, because, um... Uh, yeah, so obviously it switches out, so it's not c carrying like crunch or anything like that. So I go for the trick there, just in case it stays in, if it curses again. So um, it didn't, so we both swapped choice scarfers, which was pretty funny. Uh, and so Sandstorm was doing a little bit of damage to me. I know I can outspeed, obviously, and kill this thing. So I just wanted to see what... It was good to see what item it had anyway. So, yeah. Um, so in comes this thing, which fucked me over the entire match, as you'll see. So I go into my Apom because I really have nothing to take this um, close, because I knew I knew close combat or a fighting move was coming, so I didn't really need my Apom anymore, so, yep, it did its job. Uh, okay, so, obviously it's going to have the uh, Toxic Orb, so, yep, it's got Quick Feet for sure. So I go into Dratini, go for a Dragon Dance, because I knew I could take it, because I'm bulky, but I do get critted, so that fucking sucked. So uh, that wrecked my uh, extreme speed strategy there. So I go to my chin charm thinking, well, I'm scarfed on this as well. But that, he misses it like Houdini. So I get killed by Earthquake. So at this point, I'm friggin' raging because I've missed twice in a row. I've got critted and it's missed. So, yep, I really need to kill this thing. Otherwise, I'm going to get swept. So I go into my ghastly um, knowing that none of it's moved. That can hit me at all. So I just go for the slide bomb because that's a uh, stab and... Yep. Uh, anything that comes into it is going to get hurt decently, even if it resists it. So obviously it's going to. I knew I knew the hippo down was going to come back in. So, yep. Um, it does get a, a poison though. So thankfully that makes that sort of makes up for what happened before, but not really. Um, <laughs> so I go into um, another sludge bomb there. It just leaves and gets a slack off off. So I'm like, oh damn, I'm not going to be able to kill that again with before I can slack off again. So I know it's going to go for another slack off this turn, so obviously I'm going to switch out and go into something that can uh, do something. So I go into this guy, um, uh, lower my pants. Uh, if you actually look at him, he's actually pulls his pants up and he lets them down, so he's kind of like a little streaky dude. <laughs> it's just so funny watching him. Anyway, so I go for the bulk up here. This is my Everlight Pokemon I brought, so yeah, it's pretty beasty with bulk up. So he goes for the Earth Earthquake and it does numb nothing, obviously, so... Yep, I think she figured out it was Everlight by that time. So Poison's actually doing residual damage there, and in comes the uh, little uh, pedo bear, but I knew it should switch away, so I went for the Drain Punch on that turn and got some life back. So finally I got rid of that thing, oh, which was really good. So um, I do have Rest and Shed Skin on this, so I did have a form of recovery. So out comes uh, Skull Tiller, and I go for the Drain Punch. I know it's not very effective, but still I'm regaining life with it, and it's still Stab, and it's still a 3-hit KO, so which was fine, and Sandstorm is around as well, so uh, Thunderbolt uh, doesn't hit me for very much at all, because I am, I had max special defense, max health, so that was my um, I set there. So uh, one more um, Thunderbolt hits me, but that's obviously not going to kill me, probably um, not even with a crit, maybe. Anyway, so Payback takes it out anyway, so that's fine. 
I've got. I'm just going to rest off this turn. So I know a brick breaker or anything like that is coming. But I know Ghastly can resist any of Apom's moves. So, yep, Ghastly was the thing I had to keep going at the moment because it was the only thing that I could kill Hippo down with. So in comes Hippo down again. I go for uh, what did I go for here? Um, yep, I go for the Shadow Ball again. I know it's going to. I know it's probably going to try and slack off again. Yep, as it does, it just doesn't kill it again. So I'm thinking. Well, she's just going to keep slacking off so I can die to Sandstorm. So that's not going to happen. So I'm going to switch out there. And I'm going to go to this guy again and get a rest off because I know it's going to go for a slack off again. So I was, I was basically predicting fairly well here. So I went for the um, rest here because I do have Shed Skin. And I knew straight away she'd switch back into the um, APOM because I knew it would be carrying Brick Break or something like along those lines to damage me. So yeah, I get all my health back. And I know I can take a Brick Break at least two of them. So maybe only two because of the sandstorm damage. Um, so I'm going to stay in for this one because I wanted to make sure I could get a free switch of my Ghastly in. So I kind of I kind of tricked her into thinking I'd stay in again, thinking I'd survive and wake up with the Shed Skin, which I did. But um, yeah, I switched out again and I went into my Gengar there because I knew she'd go for a big break again, which she did. So that's fine. And she was kind of forced to switch out uh, here. And I knew she'd have to go into hi um, Hippo Down and so I went for a Shadow Ball, so that was a pretty good prediction there. So I knew I needed two Shadow Balls to do some damage to this thing. And with the Poison um, damage, I, th I was pretty confident I could get the kill finally after trying like three times. So finally I get the Hippo down, down, <laughs> and I'm just living there. So in comes Apom again. I know it's going to go for a Brick Break because obviously I'm going to switch out there because uh, I'm Scarfed, of course. I've got a double Scarf going. Uh, so down goes my... Um, uh, my pants. Um, he just dropped his pants again, <laughs> and I'm going to go into my uh, ghastly again. I know I'm, I know I'm quick out, and I've got sludge bomb, so I should be able to take the apom out uh, with sludge bomb in case I don't miss. So that's cool. Uh, anyway, that was, I, that was my last Pokemon as well. So that was an extremely close game and a really epic battle. So if you want to see any more of this, leave a comment. Please leave a like and all that good stuff. And thank you for watching.